Okay, I'm going to replace this valve right here and I'm going to give a demonstration so you guys can see how this is done. The valve keepers are pretty tiny, so you got to kind of keep an eye on things when you're taking them apart. It's your valve spring compressor. Do that to release the locks. And it helps to have a tool to pull them out with. Uh, I use a magnet. Usually works pretty good. Just pull the keepers out of there. valve in the spring. Just set those off to the side. Push the valve out. And as you can see it's slightly bent. Work the new valve in. I'm going to take the valve seal off. And I know there's a special tool that you can use to remove these. They come off real easy so I'm not too worried about it. And it doesn't take rocket science to put a new one in there. And I'll probably get some complaints that, hey, there's a special tool for that. Okay, fine. This is my special tool. Right here. And just like that, it's installed. My new valve out of the package. Put a little bit of lubrication on the valve stem. You can use like oil or Vaseline or whatever. Just don't want to put it in dry. Aha! Look at that. I knocked it off. Alright. I'll set it down flat and knock it on there. This will be better. Just got a straight shot. There. Now it's on. valve spring and the valve spring retainer on there. And try to keep it centered on the valve spring retainer. Compress it down, lock it in place. A paper towel roll to kind of hold it where I want it at there. Alright, the next step requires a very tiny screwdriver. And this is the secret part I'm going to show you right here that a lot of people struggle with is how do I get the keepers back on that tiny valve stem. If you look at the keepers, they are tapered on one side. The back end is wider than the, the front end that goes towards the valve, goes down like that. So it kind of wedges into the, into the uh, retainer. So we have to get it back on the valve stem. We have to keep it on there. So I put a little Vaseline inside there like that. Just kind of goop it in there. And then I use it to stick it to the screwdriver. Now the problems you may run into if you're in a warm climate. I'm out in my garage. It's like 10 degrees outside. Everything's kind of chilly in here and the stuff's pretty thick. And as you can tell, it's not going to fall off. But if it was 100 degrees in the summertime, this stuff would probably be melting and it'd be falling off the end of the screwdriver. If that was the case, you'd have to find something that's a little sticky. Uh, to do this with. Just go ahead and stick it in there. I always wipe it out first in case there's some oil residue in there. Just kind of clean it off. Same thing for the other valve stem retainer. We put a little Vaseline on the inside to keep it in the groove. The groove I'm referring to 
is the one at the top of this. It sits in there like that. So it, when it's installed, it's sitting like that. You got one on the other side, and it wedges it in when you release the spring. Of course, it helps to have a valve spring compressor like this, where you can get down inside overhead cam engines. And this is always the fun one. And sometimes it just takes a lot of patience to learn how to do this. Can't accuse these uh, manufacturers of creating too much room in there either. And sometimes it just takes a little bit of practice. And you might think you're good some days. And it's still a challenge to get it in there. So I, I sympathize with anybody where they have two weeks experience working on these or 20 years working on them these still kind of suck to work on just because everything's tiny yeah when you get older you're a little a little bit optically challenged like me you really can't see if you got it down in there very good or not okay then when you go to release go nice and slow you know what? I think I got it the first time. How do we check and see if we got it? Well, clean this off. And you should be able to see our two keepers down in there. There's one there and one right there. Last thing I do is give a little tap with the hammer. We're good. It's in. It's done.